Before I go ahead and start the service, there's a few things that I need to do on the access manager side of things and configure my zone to make sure that things are going to work correctly. So the first thing I want to do is go back to uh, Jesse Matthews' session on client one and we're going to go to access manager. Notice that all our users are still there, uh, no problem yet. But the first thing I need to do is I need to make sure that I delegate the proper um, permissions for the Centrify ZPA zone so it can provision or deprovision uh, accounts, in this case, Unix profiles. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to use the delegate zone control um, function and we're going to add. In this particular case, we know the account is Centrify and it's uh, the zone provisioning right here. And the functions that I want to uh, enable for this user are very simple, add users, remove users, modify user profiles, and that's it. So I wanna make sure that everything that has to do with user functions are available to this user so, um, so the user can, uh, so the service can actually perform those functions because those functions are being performed as the user principal that is running that service. So um, we're going to go ahead and, and, and click next. And that's it. Um, now we make sure that the account is going to have uh, the proper rights. The next step is to configure the zone. So the first thing we need to do is go back to properties and we're going to go to the provisioning tab here. All we need to do is enable auto provisioning and then pick the group in AD, in this case Unix. I'm gonna do a find, and that will be our Unix HQ zone, all users. Remember that we nested the role granting groups into this particular group to which uh, all our users belong to, to the respective group, uh, group of systems. So notice that it picks up the automatic, the, the defaults that we set up before. So uh, that's it. At this point, this account, this uh, zone is going to be automatically provisioned. We get a warning that says, hey, you know, from this point on, um, we're going to remove all user, user identities and uh, everything is going to have to work with the rules set up by ZPA. This is why I was stressing in the posting that is re it's really important when you're thinking about standardizing a process to deal with exceptions effectively, to deal with uh, provisioning rules and things like that. Um, because um, uh, once you have it automatic, um, you need to be able to um, have minimal exceptions. The good news is that with Centrify, you can still do profile overrides at the child zone level and at the uh, system level. So we're gonna go ahead and press OK. And we're gonna go back to the Unix system, uh, to the session with the Windows administrator, and we're gonna uh, start CBA. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And one thing that should happen is that uh, my user should just uh, basically leave and come back. That's because um, at this point now, the zone is automatically controlled. There's no way to add users to the zone manually. Um, and uh, what we can do is uh, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and run ZPA again um, by restarting it here just to make sure. So everything seems to be okay, but let's go ahead and, and log into my Unix systems to make sure that things are, are kosher. So in CentOS 1, uh, this was an old uh, query. Let's go ahead and do uh, an AD flush. What I want to verify is that uh, my sysadmin and only um, the DBAs have access to that. So uh, do an AD query user. And it's, everything seems to be okay in here. Only um, uh, Jesse and the two DBAs have access. Let's go out into my web system. And the same thing, uh, and a flush. And let's go ahead and do an AD query user. And it seems to be okay. So the rules are being respected. Uh, system administrator has access to all systems and uh, both web and DBAs have only access to the web servers and DBA systems. Since we've verified that everything works okay, let's go ahead and provision somebody and see how it works. 
let me go ahead and open Active Directory user and computers and uh, let's just pretend we have uh, an auditor Ralph let's pretend that he's asking us hey I need to access the database systems uh, for purposes of an audit um, I can go ahead and uh, uh, just add him to, to the proper uh, role granting group and based on what we've done we've nested the role granting group into the provisioning group um, everything with CPA should work correctly so let's make him a member of the in this case the Unix database server users and um, uh, to accelerate ZPA I don't want to wait one minute <laughs> so I'm just gonna restart it here and uh, let's take a quick look uh, and he should have now a Centrify profile. There you go. He has a, a profile right here. Uh, I can actually override it if I want to. Um, I could just, you know what? Let's just make it a, a override the actual uh, login name. Uh, our, in a in a true uh, implementation, we would probably have this automated based on our rules, but. Um, this is the flexibility of the software. You can still override, uh, but notice that uh, you know the the zone continues. You can't add people manually. It's, it's got to be with the pro, pro, the process that we have. So um, let's go back to our CentOS system, and um, uh, if I do an, a, a fresh AD query user, uh, you will see that he's not there. If I do an AD flush. And let's clear that and do an AD query user again. And now we have uh, our Baldwin right here. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and try and log in as him. And log into CentOS 1. And uh, there you go. So, um, you know, a new user, we created a home directory for him. So, uh, ID, there you go, and he's just a regular user. Uh, the easy info. So let's uh, do the 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 reverse, right? So the reverse is that the provisioning action. So uh, what I could do is um, go ahead and um, uh, go to properties again, go to Centrify profile. Um, all I need to do is remove him from this group. So it's the opposite process go back I don't want to wait one minute so restart ZPA very small environment so this should uh, go right away so I'm gonna do a refresh here and uh, uh, take a look at uh, Ralph and Centrify profile is gone so he doesn't have a profile anymore and if he wants to access the system actually let's do again let's do an AD, uh, AD query user and uh, an AD flush. Okay, our an AD query user. The user is gone. Um, again, at, at this point, you should be very familiar to the cache and why we're doing the AD query user. This is all to accelerate time. If I want to go ahead and uh, uh, log in, And the telltale is that I'm getting that uh, password prompt that doesn't say the AD password. So, and there you go, access denied. So some of the cool things that you can infer from this is that if I want to grant people additional access, maybe I want my database users to access the web systems. All I need to do is put them in the right group and that's it. And there's a lot of creative things that can be done programmatically with zone update. Uh, with uh, an identity management solution such as Corium, FIM, or Oracle. Uh, so you can automate this process, put a workflow in front of it, maybe some approvals. Uh, and this is all about reusing a process that has been in your enterprise for a long time. So uh, hopefully this uh, session was uh, constructive.